I came back to London with my wife and son and uh, a bunch of people had moved into my flat. There was a oh. new front door to squatters, yeah? Oh. But we were all together. My mum lives up the road in Hampstead. My son, uh, brother lives in Victoria, Kimberley. Yeah. We went from pillar to post and then we went back to France and I just came back on my own. Lost my job. Um, I was working as a chef 10 years in London. Uh, working in decent restaurants, Michelin star restaurants. Um, had a big argument with the head chef I was working with. Um, lost the job. I was in arrears with the flat already. I was living in a place in Dalston that I couldn't really afford. Um, beautiful flat, but like I say, couldn't really afford. Um, lost that after about a month after I lost the job. Uh, couch surf for a couple of months. Stayed with friends. I stayed my welcome. Um, developed a bit of a bit of an issue issue with the uh, with the old drugs and uh, yeah. And here we are, boys. Here we are. Yeah, it's been about four months now. It's not a huge amount of fun. Sleeping on the streets in London is not a huge amount of fun at all. It, you, you think that you could sleep anywhere, you can't. If you get woken up, if you try and sleep in a car park, you'll be woken up at 5.30 in the morning when the car park attendants come. If you try and sleep in a doorway, you'll have the police wake you up. You can't really sleep anywhere, to be honest. It's very, very, very hard. touch with the outreach workers that are supposed to house people in this borough but because I can't prove my links to this borough because I've been staying in flat shares um, it's very hard to get a phone call from the landlord a telephone conversation with the landlord let alone a written letter headed letter from him. so it's very very hard for me to prove my link despite the fact I've been living here for eight years To be honest, the weather's picking up now, it's not so bad, but yeah, when it's cold, it's really cold. And the fact that you get woken up every morning by either the police or a caretaker or somebody is pretty soul destroying, to be honest. Pretty bloody soul destroying. touch with the outreach I've, 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 I've jumped through every hoop they wanted me to jump through and they still haven't helped me they still haven't housed me they put me into an emergency bed for a month uh, which was great basically gave me a taste of what I could have and then after the month I could obviously couldn't prove my links to our Hamlet so they kicked me out again so I'm back here so it's fantastic yeah Um, yeah, it's pretty shit to be honest with you. Pretty shit.